Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Immersive Reactions Extras. And today we are going to be doing a deep dive on Greece. 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 Yep, we're going to do a watch mojo. Uh, top 10 facts you that will ruin your childhood. Well, in our case, adulthood, because we just watched this for the first time. Yeah, it's ruining the childhood of you our fellas. viewers. Yes. So let's see if that is the case. If your childhood was utterly ruined by this video, let us know. <laughs> we apologize. Yeah, sorry. If you have any other uh, extra content you want us to react to for Greece, yes, give us the video title in the comment section and we will do it. Thank you. Here we go. We'll get into it right now. Number 10, Unhappy Feet. You could be forgiven for thinking that everyone in the Grease cast was a great dancer. Even Blanche, the principal's assistant, made her way through the dance line. When I hear music, I just can't make my feet behave. Hi, Sonny. However, remember how Marty spent the dance flirting with Ugh. DJ Vince Fontaine? What's your name? Marty. Yes, I Creepy do. old man. Marty what? Yeah. Maraschino. You know, like in Sherry. Dinah Manoff was a horrible dancer. Despite several takes and attempts to train her for the musical numbers, she was unable to get her feet to cooperate. Hmm. This is why she was never shown front and center in any of the dance scenes. While this was more than a little inconvenient in a musical, well, it might have really been a blessing in disguise during the iconic well, dance-off number. When the temperature got as high as 116 degrees and several extras fell ill. Number I... nine, an ode to Elvis became an eerie tribute. This goody two-shoes makes me want to barf. Look at me, I'm Sandra D. Elvis was known for shocking the world with his gyrating moves and driving women wild with them as well. It was very fitting that during the Slumber Party song, the ladies offered up his name in the song, Look at Me, I'm Sandra D. Elvis! Elvis! Let me be! Keep that pelvis far from me! This line was one of the few lyrics changed from the original stage play to update the movie for the times. Ironically, however, Elvis died on the same day the scene was filmed, making mm. a fun lyrical innuendo That's into a crazy. bittersweet <laughs> nod to the king. Some people are so touchy. Number 8. Tongue Tied so Travolta. John Travolta has had his fair share of twists of the tongue. I can't talk to you right now. Listen, what are you doing later? I can't talk, all right? <laughs> Just ask Idina Menzel. However, he seemed to have an especially hard time with several of his lines in Greece. Many scenes had to be reshot due to his flubs. Oh, no, no. This is probably a little driving dust. That's all. He struggled especially hard during the Grease Lightning song number. He was supposed to sing Go Grease Lightning, You're Coasting Through the Heat Lap Trials, but he kept singing Heap Lap Trials so many times oh, that I they ended up just that. leaving it in the movie. Yeah. Number seven, Hair Care by Crayola. <laughs> hey, you guys got a look at Zuko this morning? Looking pretty good this year, huh, Riz? No one can escape the grasp of genetics or father time, and Jamie Donnelly, who played Jan, was no exception. The actress's hair was turning gray prematurely during the shooting of the film, oh. which would contrast with the high schooler image she was supposed to portray. This meant her hair had to be color treated for the flick. God, that is the ugliest looking thing I ever saw. However, her hair grew so quickly, it was not feasible to dye it as often as needed to cover the gray. As a result, her silver roots were colored with black crayon several times during the shoot. See a penny, pick it up all oh, day dear. long, you'll have good luck. Number six, beware the beauty school dropout. Inspiration comes from many places. Sometimes those places are dark. When Frenchie sits alone lamenting her choices, a doo-wop number lightens the mood. Your story sad to tell, a teenage ne'er do well. Beauty School Dropout may seem like a fun, humorous ditty, but it actually got its name after writers Jim Jacobs and Warren Casey read about a teen who dropped out of beauty school only to end up becoming a murderer. Beauty oh my god! Dropout. No graduation day for you. 
Wow, we're really glad that Frenchie's storyline doesn't go in this direction. Grease would have ended up becoming a horror film with strangely upbeat musical numbers. But no <laughs> customer would go to you yeah, unless a, she was a big, hooker. Number five, deviation. picking on Patty. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just love the first day of school, don't you? It's the biggest thrill <laughs> of my life. What would a high school movie be without the perk, peppy, pain in the patootie character that annoys everyone? Patty Simcox, portrayed by Susan Buckner, was that character in Grease. <laughs> Within the world of the movie, it made sense for poor Patty to be picked on and excluded, given the high school atmosphere. But Buckner reported that she was treated similarly behind the scenes. She later oh. shared that the cast and crew often excluded her from the off-camera fun and didn't see this behavior as a problem, making her memories of the filming less than nostalgic. Oh gosh. Number four, protection. They if you watched Grease seriously. as a kid, yes, it's did. likely that much of the sexual innuendo went over your head. But as a teen or an adult, it was pretty blatant. While songs such as Summer yeah. Nights and Sandra Dee had sexual references that were a little more on the tamer side, Grease Lightning was a song with innuendo that went far beyond car restoration. In order to slip another reference by the censors, the T-Birds ran around the car with rolls of plastic, which seems pretty random. But many see this as a reference to safe sex, since it was oh. rumored at the time that plastic wrap could substitute for condoms. Well, hmm. Not bad. <laughs> Number three, high school senior citizens. It's pretty obvious, even on first viewing, that the actors were a little older than the high schoolers they were playing. Well, that but how much sure. older might surprise yeah. you? Is that all it takes, 15 minutes? <laughs> the main cast's age ranged from 20-year-old Kelly Ward, who played Putsy, to 33-year-old Rizzo, played by Stockard Channing. Really? Rizzo. You did a quite a lovely job on making her yeah. look young. Oh, good news really travels fast. Yeah. Your voice, Why don't you really tell me about it? What's it to you? I thought I might be able to do something. You did enough. Most of the actors were in their mid to late 20s, making them almost 10 years older than their characters. Reportedly, the director checked each cast member for crow's feet before casting them to ensure they could pass for high schoolers. Perhaps a session of banging erasers after school would put you on the right track. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are you just going to stand there all day? Uh, no, ma'am. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean, I'm well, just... Well, which um... is it? Yes or no? No, ma'am. Good, then move. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Number two, emergency surgery for Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha de Gregorio is one of Greece's most memorable femme fatales, set up to be one of the antagonists of the film along with the Scorpions. Who is she? They call me Cha-Cha, because I'm the best dancer at St. Bernadette's. With the worst reputation. She wasn't afraid to use oh. her charms to compete with Sandy for Danny's attention and affection. She was flirtatious, dressed to kill, and had some fantastic dance moves. While filming the movie, Annette Charles sadly suffered an ectopic pregnancy, which led to emergency oh. surgery. Shortly after the crew finished up the iconic oh. drag race scene, she was brought to the local hospital for the operation. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe oh. to our channel and ring the bell to get wow. notified about our latest videos. You'll we'll have the option that's, to be notified for occasional videos or all of really? them. If oh. you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jeff Conaway's Health Problems mm. Many movies have tragic stories attached to them, and Grease is no exception. But well, I, I thought that you could maybe be my second at Thunder Road. What do you mean? You want, you want me to drive with you or, or what? No. Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 uh, well, listen, I'll pick you up at three, huh? Yeah, too late. Yeah. During the shooting of the Grease lightning scene, Jeff Conway, who played Kanicki, was accidentally dropped by fellow cast members, injuring his back. This injury is believed to be part of what eventually led to a reliance on painkillers. Conaway appeared on Celebrity Rehab in 2008 and spoke about his battle with addiction. I don't know why. Oh, that's sad. That's terrible. Not good. That's good. On May awful. 11, 2011, he was admitted to the hospital with pneumonia and sepsis and oh. passed away later that same month. 
Jesus. His doctor linked his death to his long use of opiates. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out... Yeah, that's a, that's a quick and dirty little fact sheet there. Uh, oh. Not... Some of that was pretty mm -hmm. not good. No. But... Like I yeah. said in the beginning of the video, if you have yes. another deep dive or breakdown or backstory backstory to Greece that is on YouTube, please give us it and we'll do a video like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's sad that. Oh, and, guy, that terrible. And that he is... had to. He also went through a time when, like, all doctors were ever doing was, like, prescribing opioids. Mm -hmm. And that's probably all they, they're like, yeah, you, you can't do anything else. Here's some painkillers. Like, there's no, like, like rehabilitation yeah, for no. his pain management, no, pain nothing. management or, like, trying to, like, strengthen something that would help him walk better or help the pain. Mm -hmm. Or, like, something else. Something, anything. And it seems to be like he was trying to look for something, but he was just struggling. Yeah. You got... Mm. But the other things in there were bad dancing. Mm-hmm. Old cast crewing. Wait, that that's not a world. A word. A what? They were casting older people. Oh, yeah. I mean, you kind of do. Well, yeah have to just because actors aren't i don't i don't know anything about like back in the 70s or anything but like child actors or anything like that mm -hmm. but when you're casting like you probably just want to get older actors so you don't have to deal with like oh like the training and stuff like training or like the actors need to have commitments in like school or whatever oh. like there it's just the last year of their High school, which some kids look like they're goddamn 40 in mm -hmm. high school. Um, so I don't see a big issue with that. Um, the and then like the innuendos in the musical numbers, uh, I got most of them besides the car being wrapped in plastic thing, I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the, the Elvis um, reference. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. I mean, someone, I think someone said in the comments that it's a 50s to 70s time period for, like, these kids that are in high school. So, it makes sense that that would be someone like that. And then the the... They got the beauty school dropout thing from a girl that was yeah became a murderer. <laughs> that would have been, that would have that would have threw me for a loop if mm -hmm. all of a sudden her character like murdered someone. Oh my gosh! You're like what? But um, I may even look on my own time to find another grace breakdown. I wanted yeah. to know more about it. You can, well, if you do it by yourself, you can record it and we'll put it on the channel. Because I'm going to eventually do more. Um, we have another channel um, that we're going to do, like, YouTube reaction content. Well, she's going to do it. Um, of trailer breakdowns, game stuff, uh, whatever really you want her to watch in reason obviously we won't do everything but um we're gonna do that and just like normal if you look up reactors there's different types of reactors that react to different things so we're gonna be doing that and uh it's gonna be shorter mm -hmm. than the movies and stuff just to like supplement our main channel like reacting to like music videos or like yeah game we, releases things like that yeah 
we're, we're the music is going to be something that comes later we're going to do music reactions too um that's going to be on a separate channel altogether because music reactions will probably have a high likelihood of getting the channel completely shut down so i'm not gonna link oh. it in that's why we do multiple channels it's, sure. we're gonna do well youtube will copyright strike our channel if mm. we put like start putting music up so i'm putting everything in separate baskets so youtube can't just be like oh look at that channel and kill us for yeah, one thing i'd rather them kill one channel with a third of our content on it than kill one channel with all of our content mm. on it and just destroy us forever yeah that would be Ooh, bad news bears yeah so we're making multiple channels for each individual type of reactions we do which we're not there yet we'll get there eventually but the shorter reactions are easier because we can do them more regularly and mm -hmm. put out stuff like that and re react to sports we can react to oh, uh, okay whatever and whatever we don't really know about mm -hmm. and get more of an uh or like popular uh youtube videos currently funny ones other type of stuff like that but we like this video and we're hoping to get another one like this on Greece soon. Mm -hmm. And and then we're going to go through our catalog of movies we've watched and do other breakdowns, extras, stuff like that. So if you have a video, if you have a movie on our channel that we've seen that you want us to do a breakdown to, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, we have YouTube Join now. You can join. It's two bucks a month. Um find some coins on the floor yep any any pocket change just throw it at us we'll pick it up <laughs> um it's just all to get us to the point where we can offer you more offer more content mm -hmm. and do it more regularly um i gotta stop saying um besides this Thank you for watching. Immersive reactions. Extras. Until next time. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps us get recognition on our videos and we'll react to more in the future. Thank you.